I wanted to talk to you about our night together. Have you ever walked to the very edge of a great precipice and shuddered at how easy it would be to step into the void? Ever since Elminster told me of Mistress' expectations of me, I felt like I'd been walking along such a cliff face. The great drop to nothingness never out of my sight. But you, you led me away from the edge. Without your words, your touch, I fear I would have sought purpose and solace in that void. It reminded me what living can feel like. No crutch. I can stand tall now, thanks to you. You've renewed my taste for living. I'll not be a burden to you. I hope the end is much farther away than I had suspected. I hope that night meant as much to you as it did to me. And I hope we all have more time together. Together. Alone. I see. Fine is fine. Nobody weeps because the weather is fine. No monarchs were overthrown because their ruling was fine. No artworks were burned because they were not masterpieces, but merely fine. The dignified thing for me to say is no, of course not. Forthrightness before all, but honestly, yes. Would have rather you lied. I'm just a man. An imperfect one with needs, wants, and flaws by the bushel. A fragile vessel in which to place potentially world-ending power. Perhaps it would be better to not shake such a vessel. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive me. These were already trying times before Elminster delivered his missive. Now, for me at least, they are potentially end times. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. Oh. Let's get going. <laughs> 